Hello and welcome to your lesson on selective attention. I'm just going to work through a few different examples of how selective attention works. Um, we're going to try by the end of it to finish all the tasks on the remainder of your handout. Uh, so we're going to have a quick look at an example of beat rugby. So in this example you've got a, a team of five attackers against a team of five defenders. Within the clip you can notice that there's, the game is pretty quick, there's a lot of things happening at the same time. Now each of the players has to be able to pick up on certain stimuli, um, they need to be able to react pretty quickly. So there's a now a new team of players coming onto the field, um, who happen to react to the, to the situation. Now there's lots of things in the environment that aren't relevant. So you can think with the crowd all around the outside, they're not, not relevant at the moment. There would be things that the players are saying that might not be relevant. So they're having to try and block out the bits that don't matter and just take into account things that do matter. Um, and because everything's happening so quickly and there's so much going on, you can notice that the, the skill level of certain players uh, is, is struggling in that environment. So pretty quick decisions are made by the attacking team now. They're able to catch the other team without them being aware. Too much going on for them and they manage the score in the corner. Now you should be in a pretty good position to be able to complete task number five uh, to be able to define selective attention using an example. Now if you need any further information, pause and go back to the previous video and see what you can pick up from that. Uh, and I would suggest you pause the video about now. Very shortly you're going to watch a video. Um, try and follow all the instructions on the screen uh, and then we'll have a quick think about it then after you have a look at the video. Enjoy. This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? Go! The answer is 13. Okay, now it's time to do a little bit of uh, task work. So if you have a look at task number six, it's just a gap fill, so not particularly difficult. Uh, so I'm going to leave that one to you. So when you're ready, just press pause uh, and move on to that task. Okay, and on to task number seven, what are the factors affecting selective attention? Just press pause and give that task a go. Okay, so let's have a look at some of your, uh, your answers. Uh, one of the things that can affect selective attention is the intensity of the stimuli. So really bright colours or loud noises, they're very intense stimuli. Another thing is your previous experience. If you've seen it before or you've heard something before, you're far more likely to pay attention to it. Um, things that are very emotional or that mean a lot to you, they tend to st stand, stand out as well. Um, so things that you enjoy uh, or are interested by, they tend to be uh, taken in by your selective attention. Okay, next task is task number eight. So press pause now and give that one a go. Okay, so task number eight. Um, so one of the methods you can use for improving selective attention is to intensify the stimuli. So use bright colours. Uh, you can also make information meaningful. Uh, so assign some kind of reasoning behind it. Um, for example, in uh, if you're trying to teach somebody how to do a certain type of pass, maybe associated with the way that somebody else does that pass, uh, maybe a famous performer, a role model. Um, you can also try and get people to practice in realistic situations so they're able to block out the irrelevant stimuli um, and, and practice in, in uh, realistic environments as, as one of the major ones um, and we'll add then more next lesson. Hopefully now you're at the point where you can start to give a go of the exam questions. Now question number one, you'll have the answer to that uh, already so the, there's no answer for that one going to come up. Um, that's on, on your handout, you just need to look back over it. Question number two, now that's when the, uh, the mark scene is going to come up in a moment, so I want you to pause the, the clip right about now and give that a go, please. So you should have paused the clip to enable you to give this answer a go, otherwise the learning is as, as important. Uh, but here's the mark scheme. Uh, so at any point now, just uh, just pause the clip and you'll be able to go over what the answer actually is. Um, you'll need to pick up the fact that selective tension is sorted in the relevant from the irrelevant information. Um, and that prevents information overload because of the, the limited short-term memory that we have. 
once you're happy with that one, move on to question number three uh, and press pause right about now. Remember, just like in class, uh, if you don't give it a go without seeing a mark scheme, you don't learn as much. So hopefully you press pause before this mark scheme comes up. The mark scheme. Um, just again, press pause so you can see the, see the clip properly. Um, improving a player's active attention, uh, it requires the, the obvious things. It requires practice. Uh, it, it needs you to increase the intensity of the stimulus motivating performers and then we look at it a little bit later on in the term um, and so on. Now any other feedback that you want, any other information that you want, um, write down any questions that you might have and then in lesson we can come back over, over the questions, um, go back over the clip uh, and rewind so you can pick things up. One of the major points just to finish with is a selective attention is all about relevant information and relevant information. We want to pay attention to relevant information. If we pay attention to irrelevant information as well, then we make incorrect decisions uh, and the information becomes very difficult to comprehend. Um, we end up with what's called information overload, where your focus goes uh, and you, that's when you make errors and you become very flustered in what you're doing. Um, so selective attention is a really important part of what the perceptual mechanism does.